Hi, my name is Vince, and today I'm going to tell you how I got one of these and how you can plan to get one at the next restock. In this video, I'm going to unbox it and even install it. Make sure to stick around so you can learn how we're going to take this 390 and take the channel to a whole new level. <laughs> So I happened to catch on Wednesday, August 25th, that Best Buy was releasing a handful of uh, GPUs uh, in store only. And um, the last time that happened, I think was in July, I went there in the morning and sure enough, I got there, the line was around the building and there was just no way I was gonna get one. I said, that's not gonna happen again. And so August rolls around and I'm watching, I'm watching every day and finally uh, a restock came in. So Wednesday night, I drove by at 8 p.m. and immediately I noticed there was about 30 people in line and I was like, ah, oh, this is not looking good. And I thought, well, if I wake up in the middle of the night because I can't stop thinking about this opportunity, I will just get up and go. And so 3 a.m., got in my car, I went and I got in line. I was trying to count because the numbers said there was gonna be 112 in Wichita. And um, well, I was close. I knew I was somewhere right around 100. And um, that didn't really make me comfortable, but I thought, hey, I'm already here. I'm in line, let's just see what happens. By about 7.30, the line started shifting. People were getting up, putting their lawn chairs away. And when the blue shirts came to about 10 people in front of me, I heard them say, all we have left are 390s. Now, this wasn't my original plan, but I just couldn't say no at this opportunity to get uh, a graphics card at MSRP uh, through Best Buy. It turns out the end of the line, the last slip handed out, was five people behind me. So it was this close. A lot of people went home sad, and even as we were waiting to check out, there were about 20 people, 30 people, who were just hanging out, hoping that somebody got a card decline, you might be asking, especially if you're a computer nerd like uh, I am, you're probably saying, why does anyone need this? And just about nobody does. But it was the only one I could get, and so I had to go for it. So as many of you know, for the past month or so, I've been doing more live streaming, and I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed interacting with you and meeting so many of you across the globe. And I don't want that to stop, so here I am. I've got the card and I'm gonna unbox it today and install it and tell you a little bit about um, uh, that process. I'm an artist and not exactly a computer tech, bear that in mind. What I did have to do was change the power supply. So I had a 600 watt that says on the back that it takes at least a 750. So that had to be installed and of course there's all sorts of routing cables and things like that that are, yeah, they're difficult to do and there's little parts and yada yada yada. The other thing I had to think about was the width of this thing, which is three slots wide. I might have to build some sort of support structure, maybe out of Legos or something. We'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Uh, I don't really know what to expect, so right here, this is the, the moment of, uh, well, no turning back now. Come this way. Whoa. Wow. Look at this monster. Oh, it's so heavy. So heavy. Oh, holy cow. Look, I, I, I'm not the biggest person, but just look at the size of my hands compared to this. Uh, this is pretty wild. As you can see, three, three slots here, and um, I think it'll fit in here. I, I don't rightly know, but uh, all right, that's fun. I'm gonna set that here for a minute. Let's see what else we got. Wow, that sounded metallic and heavy. Right, got a quick start guide. 
some other, oh yes, the, the adapter. Um, so my understanding is uh, that uh, I just have to put my, my eight pins in here, two different eight pins, and then this is the 12 pin that goes directly into the uh, video card. All right, me holding this thing, I thought five pounds, it's probably a little bit of an exaggeration, but let's see, let's see. I can't tell. Four, oh, that was pretty close, all right. First things first, I'm gonna remove the power. And once that's done, uh, I'll, I just have one screw in it at the moment. Uh, I had to take a bunch of pieces apart in order to change uh, all the power cords out. So you can see kind of how much that drops. There'll be a little tab right here that you press down and that releases the card. All right, out with the old. Okay, here is uh, this uh, adapter. It goes to 12 pin here that goes directly into the card and uh, the eight pins, uh, the two, and I've got the two that I took uh, from the previous card. They just go in, at least I think so. So says uh, an artist. Um, oh, that one's good. Why? Why is an artist doing this? Okay. Uh, adapter in place. All right, it's time to uh, drop this in. I'm taking off the protective covering. And um, here he goes. Uh, will it fit? Oh, look, oh, 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 a little snug, a little, little bit of... Oh. Okay, lining up the PC slot, PCI slot, and in place. And now it's time to power it up right here like so. And my 12 pin adapter going into the 12 pins, finding it, oh, there it is, and click. Uh, and the last thing to do is put in one, two, three screws. So, the 390. A bit overkill for live streaming. It'll be nice for our video editing, like this video. I must say, I'm really impressed by how well this stays in place. I really assumed with all that weight, you can see some sag, you see some stress on the motherboard, but this is really, it's really, maybe it's a three port, I don't know. Either way, it's, just, it's incredible. Um, it's at least in place. And now is the time to turn it on and see if it works. And we're back. Sean just made the video with this 390. It was an awesome upgrade from the 1070, I must say. And, uh, is there, is there something else? Uh, oh yes, that's right. 